Hi guys, today as promised in this video, I'm going to be reacting to my subscribers' cages. Thank you to all of the people who submitted cages, so I will be taking a look at about 15 cages. There were a lot of submissions, so sorry if I didn't include your cage. Maybe I'll make a part 2. Let me know in the comments. Now, if you're getting a cage or already have a cage, well, here's a chance to take a look at everyone else's cage and I don't know, maybe get some inspiration on how you want to design your cage. And I'll also be giving constructive feedback on different ways to improve. But remember, this is just my opinion. If you feel differently, by all means, ignore what I say. Okay, there's a lot to get through, so let's hop straight into it. So this is the first cage we'll be reviewing. There are lots of toys I see hanging and tossing toys. I really really love that little stuffed chinchilla or whatever it is at the top. I find it so cute. There are also a lot of places to hide. I see a hut at the bottom as well as the hammock on the top. And also like at the top there are just a lot of little nooks that your chinchilla can hide in. You also have a good amount of ledge for your chinchilla to hop around on and also that wheel looks very good. I'm pretty sure it is the correct size. Oh, and your chinchilla down there is super cute. <laughs> and yeah, I don't really have any um, improvement for this one. It's pretty much very, very good. So the next cage, we have a very impressive cage. It looks like you built it yourself, but correct me if I'm wrong. It goes all the way from the floor to the ceiling, which is super amazing because chinchillas love to jump around all over the cage. I also see that you have the chin spin in there. It is such a great wheel for chinchillas to run on. Uh, you have lots of ledges everywhere in the cage and also I see a couple huts. What I do recommend is that you do put a bit more toys in there so your chinis have something to play with. And you're probably already aware of this when um, getting the cage but just make sure that the wood the cage is made out of is safe all right the next cage we have is this one I see that you have some height to your cage and there's also a couple of places that your chinchilla can hop around on and oh my god your chinis are so cute like look at them oh my god but I do have some recommendations for this cage from the picture it looks kind of small for two chinchillas um, you might want to get a bigger cage if that is possible and also you could make some fleece liners for those pants that way your chinis don't have access to plastic which can be toxic for them oh and maybe add some um, toys I recommend some wooden tube blocks or something because chinchillas teeth never stop growing and if they don't have anything to chew on there can be health risks and this cage looks absolutely amazing it is very large um, I see you have a metal wheel you have ledges you have poop guards you have fleece liners you have huts you have everything basically um, one thing I did see is that the shelf on the top left is not covered in fleece I'm not sure what material that's made out of but if it's plastic maybe you do want to cover it in fleece otherwise this is one of the most impressive cages I've seen you've decorated it so well your chinchilla must be in heaven <laughs> Okay, and this is the next cage. I'm pretty sure it's the Feisty Ferret cage. I used to have this cage as well. I love the pink liners that you have put in your cage and you have plenty of hiding huts and ledges. Two things I want to point out. At the top, that bowl looks like it's plastic and plastic can be very dangerous for chinchillas if they accidentally swallow it. Also, I don't see a wheel in this cage, but maybe you do have one at the back, but it's just covered. I do recommend that you give a wheel to chinchillas over six months, but chinchillas younger than that um, you run the risk of overheating them and wow look at this cage it has a ton of wood in the cage and it looks like maybe you've made it yourself I don't know and yeah I see your chinchilla chilling there she's very cute oh and that wheel is very cool I haven't really seen many wooden wheels but I would make sure that is 15 inch one recommendation is maybe adding a couple toss toys in there that way your chinchilla can like toss them around and have fun with them and just like the other cage made out of wood, I'm pretty sure you already know this, but make sure the wood the cage is made out of is safe for your chinchilla. But this is a super unique cage and I love it so much. And this cage, it looks like it's been set up very nicely. You did message me on Instagram saying that you don't have a will in there because your chinchilla is under six months and I totally agree with you, do not put a will in there. And oh my god, look at the house at the bottom level of the cage. Um, it looks very cool and I'm sure your chinchilla loves to stay in there. 
Overall, this is a very impressive cage. Um, maybe you want to add some stuff to the top. You can get some inspiration from other cages in this video, but that's totally up to you. And next up, we have this cage. It has a very cool design. I see lots of ledges and I love the fleece pattern. One thing that stood out to me was the hay box or whatever it's called. I've never seen anything like it before and it looks wonderful. And I see a chinchilla hiding there. I think she has a very cool coloring. And one thing I recommend is maybe adding some more toys. I only see one wooden hanging toy um, on the top left corner. So it might be a good idea to add some more toys. Okay, this next cage we have a crinination. I also have this one. I know that it is very large and the perfect size for chinchillas. Oh, and you also have a very cool pattern for your fleece liners. You have tons of pants and ledges, but one thing you might want to fix is the bottom shelf. I don't see any covering over the plastic, but correct me if I'm wrong. And another point I wanted to make is you might want to get your chinchillas a wheel if they are over six months. Now this cage is set up very nicely, there are tons of ledges and hiding spots that your chinchillas can hide in. And you have the chin spin which is a very nice wheel. Um, I do see lots of sticks in your cage for your chinis to chew on but I don't really see any hanging toys. They might be cut out of the frame but if not my opinion would be to get some hanging toys so your chinchillas can play around with those. And next we have a coordination cage, this cage is decorated super well. I love your placement of everything like it just looks super super pleasing to the eye and you have tons of ledges huts hammocks everything basically you even have a potty in there um i'm sure chinchilla loves this cage that you have made for them um i don't really see any will in the cage but again your chinchilla seems kind of small so you probably don't need one for them at the moment but otherwise this cage looks beautiful Okay, this next cage is very unique. This person uses stick as ledges, and I also see you have lots of ledges everywhere else for your chinchilla to jump all around the cage. It's really smart removing the middle layer so your chinchilla can easily go from the top of the cage to the bottom. Um, just make sure that the thick wooden sticks you're using as ledges are safe wood for your chinchilla. I'm pretty sure you already know that. But another thing I saw is that you don't really have many toys in there. Maybe it's the camera angle and I don't see them, but it might be a nice idea to add some hanging toys in there. But this is definitely a very unique cage. So for this cage, we have the top layer and the bottom layer. So I'm pretty sure you have four chinchillas. That's a lot of chinchillas and you're keeping two of them on the top level and two of them on the bottom level. Now that is perfectly fine, but maybe since they're sharing a level, put some more ledges in somewhere so that they can have more places to hop around, but that's just a suggestion. I see that you have fleece liners, poop guards, hammocks, all different sorts of places for your chinchilla to hide, and it looks wonderful. And the last cage I have for you today is a cage submitted to me by Courtney Martin. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. And you wanted a shout out, so keep up the good work on your YouTube channel and stay positive. Um, so now looking at this cage, I see that you have fleece liners, which is very good. You have lots of ledges and huts and also the chin spin, which is a very good option. One thing I did want to point out is that the shelves are not covered in fleece, but you do have your pans in fleece. So it might be a good idea to make fleece liners for those shelves as well, so your chinese don't chew on them. But overall, I love this cage and you have decorated it super well. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment below if your cage was mentioned in the video. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you want a part 2. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching until the end. And I will see you again soon. Bye!